Almost from the beginning of time, man has been consumed by two questions. First, what happens after we die? And second, what's with Donald Trump's hair? Well, Hollywood hasn't been of much value when it comes to dissecting the Donald's tonsorial dilemma, but when it comes to the afterlife, they've got all sorts of ideas. And that's the basis for the new film series here at the Kansas City Public Library, Beyond This Veil of Tears. In this film series, presented at 1.30 on Saturdays and 6.30 on Mondays through December, you're going to see nine movies that will take you from this world and into the next. We start out with Stairway to Heaven, a fantasy by the great British director Michael Powell. It stars David Niven, and it's absolutely spectacular, a beautiful technicolor dream. But other directors have different ideas. For instance, The Lovely Bones, the adaptation of the best-selling book about a young girl who is murdered and continues to watch her family and her killer from the hereafter. It was directed by none other than Peter Jackson, the man that brought us the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the remake of King Kong. And it's a splendid visual experience. From the 1930s, we have two classics. Between Two Worlds is an adaptation of Outward Bound, a hit Broadway play about a group of people who mysteriously find themselves on an ocean liner. How did they get there? Where are they going? Well, in this film from the war years, they are people who have died in an air raid in Britain, and now they are sailing off to parts unknown. Another wartime film about dying and coming back is a guy named Joe. Steven Spielberg remade this a few years ago, as always. But this is the original, directed by Victor Fleming of Gone with the Wind and Wizard of Oz fame. And it stars Spencer Tracy as a bomber pilot who dies and then finds himself being sent back not only to train a new generation of pilots, but to comfort the girl he left behind, played by Irene Dunn, and to set her up with a new fella, in this case, Van Johnson. If you're looking for a visual knockout, you have to check out What Dreams May Come, in which Robin Williams plays a man who dies and goes to a very happy hereafter. Unfortunately, his wife, played by Annabella Sciorra, isn't so happy, and in his absence, she kills herself and is sent to, well, the bad place. But love conquers all, and Robin Williams goes looking for her. It's a clever updating of the famous Greek legend of Orpheus, who went to search for his wife and rescue her from Hades. Only this time it's been presented by director Vincent Ward with eye-popping visuals. This is just stupendous. Talk about my father's mansions. This movie is full of them. Clint Eastwood takes another approach to life after death in Hereafter. In this recent film, a French journalist nearly drowns in a tsunami. And, coming back to life, it finds herself obsessed with getting answers. What is heaven all about? Is there a heaven? What did she see when she was unconscious? Eastwood's a smart guy. He knows he can't give you the answers to questions about life after death, so he makes Hereafter a film about people who are obsessed with finding those answers, even if they aren't forthcoming. The film also stars Matt Damon as a psychic who has given up his psychic practice because, well, it isn't making him any happier, and listening to dead people isn't all that much fun. Check out Hereafter. I think you'll really like it. One of the most delightful films in this series is Warren Beatty's directing debut. That's 1979's Heaven Can Wait. It was based on an older film called Here Comes Mr. Jordan. And in this one, a football quarterback dies by accident, and because Heaven made a mistake, he gets to be sent back to Earth, only this time in the body of a millionaire. The film is really funny, and it's got a sweet romance at the center between Beatty and his then-girlfriend, Julie Christie. But what you've got here, you've got death, you've got heaven, you've got heavenly agents, one played by Buck Henry, and you've got football. What's not to like? Curiously enough, Hollywood sees heaven as basically a bureaucracy, and as is the case with all bureaucracies, there are certain rules, they get broken, civil servants mess up, and that's at the basis of one of the funniest films in this series called Defending Your Life. It's by Albert Brooks, the great comic genius, and it's about a schlubby guy who gets creamed in his car 
and wakes up in what looks suspiciously like a convention center somewhere in Florida. But actually, it's heaven, or more precisely, it's limbo. He's waiting to go to heaven. In this sort of Disney world for dead souls, you get to ride around, you can eat all you want without ever getting fat, you can go to the past life pavilion where Shirley MacLaine will show you your previous lives. But before you can move on to a higher plane of existence, you've got to defend your life. In a courtroom, you've got to prove to the heavenly beings why you deserve to move on, why you shouldn't be sent back to Earth for another go-round. Terrific comedy. And we're going to wrap up the series with something entirely different. Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, which is not only about death, but of course about life, or at least life as these zany British comedians view it. Prepare to be offended. These are the films featured in the Beyond This Veil of Tears film series. At 1.30 December 3rd, Stairway to Heaven. At 6.30 December 5th, A Guy Named Joe. At 1.30 December 10th, Between Two Worlds. At 6.30 December 12th, What Dreams May Come. At 1.30 December 17th, Hereafter. At 6.30 December 19th, The Lovely Bones. At 1.30 December 24th, Heaven Can Wait. At 6.30 December 26th, Defending Your Life. And at 1.30 December 31st, Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. All screenings are free and take place in the Stanley Derwood Film Vault in the Kansas City Public Library, Central Library. Be sure to check the film blog at the Kansas City Library's website at kclibrary.org. And also, check out what I have to say about the most recent releases at my site, butlerscinemascene.com.